Welcome, namaste and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. My name is Dr. Shah and I primarily specialize in male infertility and sexual health. In this video, I am going to answer a fairly common question that I get from my patients on a fairly regular basis and the question is, why is there blood in my sperm? Some patients come to the clinic with complaints of blood in semen or they seem to notice blood in their sperm. And this particular cl clinical condition is actually called hematospermia. Now, a patient is said to have hematospermia if he notices blood in the sperm on ejaculation or blood in the semen during ejaculation. Now, some common clinical conditions that we must test and rule out for patients who have, who have been diagnosed with hematospermia includes conditions like number one, chlamydia, number two, gonorrhea, which are both basically sexually transmitted infections, number three, conditions like prostatic abscess and prostatic cysts, Number four, renal, abnormal, renal abnormalities. Number five, liver abnormalities. Number six, bleeding disorders. And few other clinical conditions have to be commonly ruled out because these are all seen in patients who have hematospermia. Now, if you see blood in your semen or if you see blood in the sperm, is it something that you should be very alarmed or worried about? Now, it really depends on the age of the patient. Now, for patients who are young, you know, who are probably less than 40 years of age, and if, if the patient noticed or if the individual noticed blood in the semen or blood mixing with the sperm only on one occasion or maybe two occasions, then that is something which we would consider as benign. Although we will do testing for sexually transmitted infections, we will do a transrectal ultrasound scan. If required, we will do imaging studies, we will do some routine tests. But largely, the take-home point is that the condition is usually benign. That is, it will not progress and there's absolutely nothing to worry about. So if you notice blood in the semen or blood mixing with your sperm on maybe one or two occasions and if you are less than 40 years of age, I would like to reassure you that it's something that you should not worry about. It will go off on its own and you can rest assured you don't have to visit, you don't, you don't, you don't need major investigations and you really don't have to worry about it. I would recommend visiting an andrologist or a sexologist near you if you notice blood in the semen even once just to rule out the possibility of a sexually transmitted infection and maybe a prostatic abscess or a prostatic cyst at best. And that's also very low, only about 10% or maybe less than 10% of patients will even have such, have those, you know, conditions. Okay, that apart, however, when is hematospermia or when is blood in the semen a real problem? In individuals who are, who are more than 40 years of age and who have, who have a family history of prostate cancer, blood in the semen or blood mixing with sperm is something that cannot be ignored at any cost. So, if the patient is over 40 years of age and if he is at suspected risk of prostate cancer, if there is blood in the sperm, the one condition that has to be ruled out is prostate malignancy. So for that, what usually happens is uh, imaging studies are going to be done and, a specific, and, and, and the gold standard imaging study of choice for assessing the site of bleed uh, you know, uh, you know, in the male reproductive tract is going to is called as an endorectal MRI. So uh, the urologist will usually give an endorectal MRI to visualize and ascertain from where the potential site of bleed is actually happening in the male reproductive tract. And prostate cancer has to be ruled out if the patient's age is especially over 40. So what's the take-home point here? Patient age less than 40, one or two episodes of blood in the semen, no problem. Get your basic tests done, you're fine, you're clear to go. Patient age greater than 40, there is a risk of prostate cancer, you have to get investigated properly. And also the number of times that the patient has noticed blood in the semen also counts, especially with older men. So I hope you enjoyed this video, the short video on hematospermia and uh, I hope you don't get alarmed if you see blood in the semen. Please feel free to reach out to me in case you have questions or doubts and drop in your comments below. Please like, subscribe and share this video with all your friends and loved ones where relevant. This is Dr. Shah, Vanakam and Namaste.